When installing SR fasteners, Flexco offers a variety of installation methods. In addition to the hammer, Flexco offers three powered rivet driver options. Let's review them. Here the MSRT is set up for a standard SR installation. When installing with a powered rivet driver, note the installation sequence. We'll want to install the outer row first, nearest the scalloped edge, then the middle row, and then the inner row closest to the belt edge. If installing an R8 fastener, we want to install the middle rivets in the top row, and then the middle rivets in the bottom row, and then we'll do the top row near the scalloped edge, the middle row, and then the lower row nearest the belt edge. If electric is your power source, Flexco offers the electric rivet driver. It comes with a special drive rod. To insert it, we're going to push down on the quick change collar and insert the drive rod lining up the slots and then push it into position. The electric rivet driver utilizes the standard rubber guide blocks and the standard rivets with no washers. We're going to insert those into the guide block and release them. And then we'll push those down against the belt. If you don't have the five prong driver, you could use your tool to push the rivets down against the belt. Since we're using the rubber guide block, we're going to want to use some silicone spray to help guide those rivets and tool into position. When using the electric rivet driver, we want to make sure we hold it perpendicular to that guide block. Following the recommended sequence, I did the outer row first, and now I'll do the middle row, and then the row closest to the belt edge. Depending on your belt thickness, you may need to drive that rivet a little longer. There you can see we got a good installation with good pucker. If air is your power source, Flexco offers the air powered rivet driver. Refer to the manufacturer label for rated air supply. Remember, higher pressure will decrease tool life. The air powered rivet driver utilizes the standard rubber guide blocks and once again the standard rivets with no washers. Here I've already preloaded the last two plates of this rubber guide block. When installing with the air powered rivet driver, remember following the recommended sequence with power tools, the outer row first, middle, and then the row closest to the belt edge. When actuating the trigger on this tool, we want to make sure we're down completely against that rivet and holding force uh, while pushing down and actuating the trigger. And then not pressing the trigger and releasing up. There you can see the rivets have driven fully and we got good pucker. Another air tool option that Flexco offers is the pneumatic single rivet driver, also known as the new drive. It's lightweight and ergonomic. It also comes with a regulator to regulate the pressure down for the corresponding rivet size. Here we're going to be installing a C rivet, so we've gone and preset the air pressure for that corresponding rivet size. When installing with the new drive, 
it requires that we use steel guide blocks. And when using steel guide blocks, we always got to use rivets with washers. So we'll go ahead and insert the rivets in and release them into the guide block. And then following the powered rivet driver sequence, doing the outer row first, middle row, and then the inner row closest to the belt edge. It takes one trigger pull to install one rivet. There's a safety built into the tool, which won't allow the tool to actuate until that safety is actuated. If you do depress the trigger before actuating the safety, the tool will not operate. There you can see those rivets are fully set and we got good pucker. You'll now finish the SR installation following the standard instructions. Those are the three different powered rivet driver options that Flexco offers. Now it's time for you to choose.